Hey, what's going on? It's Bill Burr, and it's time for the Thursday afternoon, just before Friday, Monday morning podcast. And I'm just whispering while checking in on you. It's like fucking 7.15 in the morning. My wife's downstairs still sleeping. Um, you know what's hilarious? Fucking Versi texts me, right, at like 6.10 in the morning. He goes, I was just at a great diner, ordered eggs over medium. They came eggs over easy. And then writes, unreal. So then I wrote back, I text back, right? I was laying in bed and my fucking phone goes off, right? So I'm, I wake up and that's what, that's what I read, right? So I just text him back and I go, they didn't care, Paul, Right? And then he writes T text back, how are you up at this hour? Animal. And then I text back, I go, oh, because some guy on the East Coast keeps texting me. <laughs> <laughs> how come when you put your fucking phone on vibrate? I guess it's the vibrating sound. You think it's going to be silent. I got to find this. Thing. Go into your settings. Oh, fuck you. You know, my goal for 2016 is to just not go into my settings. When are they going to come up with the fucking robot that does that for you, right? Just goes into your set. Well, you don't want that. Then you lose total control. That's like signing over power of attorney. These fucking dopes that I know. They guys that have a, a money manager. And, and, you know, I haven't paid a bill in years. And they just have some guy writing checks on their account, signing their fucking name. Oh, there you go. Is a good move financially? What, because you don't want to lick a stamp a couple of times a week? You're going to just hand over all your finances, everything you ever fucking worked for, to some fucking jerk off? Can't do that shit. You cannot do that. Anytime you're in a position to have a money manager, you cannot do it. Because there's no way you're not making more money than that fucking guy. If he was, he'd have his own money manager. Right? So all he's going to do is see you making more money than him, and then he's handling all the money, and then eventually he's going to be like, hey, you know, you know, I think I'm entitled to more. Maybe I'm going to go to McDonald's today on his dime, and he writes a check, ba da -ba -ba -ba, for four bucks, right? And he fucking chows down, and he waits. See if this guy pays attention. See if he fucking notices. That a four dollar check to McDonald's was written this month. Nothing. Say so wait another month. Play it safe. Play it safe. I mean we're fucking with jail time here. Play it safe, right? You go two three months. He doesn't fucking notice. All right. Okay, my kid's got a birthday coming up. Well, let's see if I dip in here and I go to fucking Toys R Us. Let's see if he notices. Let's see if he notices. I go down there and get the fucking Millennium Falcon and all this Star Wars shit for my son. And for my daughter, I'll get her the fucking Kitty Carry all fucking Easy Bake, uh, whatever the fuck you get abroad, right? A little broad. LB, right? Not Lyndon. Bias. Talking little broad here, right? So you fucking go down and you do that, right? This fucking what, whatever. 150 bucks out of the count. Does he notice? Doesn't fucking notice, right? Does not fucking notice. And then, you know, you just spick it. It just keeps opening and opening. And then the guy can't stop. He can't fucking stop himself. He's taking so much fucking money. He starts donating some of it to charity. He's fucking uh, taking his friends out. Ah, don't worry. It's on me, right? That's all the guilt. He knows it's coming. As he sits between his 2,000 thread count fucking sheets at night, he's just laying there knowing at some point that door is going to be kicked in. You know, he's just going to hear out the door. And then he's going to be like, did I just dream that? Boom, it's going to come open. And there he's going to be. Like Jerry Lundegaard in fucking uh, <laughs> in Fargo. Trying to go out that bathroom window, and they're just gonna grab him as he goes eh, 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 face down on the fucking bed, right? And then it's what's gonna happen. All right, they get him and they go to jail. And then what the fuck are you gonna do? Then you gotta take this cunt to court. He's already blown all the fucking cash. Or you know what you could do? You could make out a check to the fucking gas company every fucking month. You could do that. You know, you could sit down in front of the TV. You know, watching a little bit of the news, you could do that and just not open yourself up to that shit. I mean, that's what you could do. Oh, I'm on my fucking stump today. I just yelled. My wife's going to give me shit, but 
you know, when you're in a relationship, there's there's ups and downs in the relationships. And there's times when you give a shit what that person thinks about you. And then there's times when you don't. Seven in the morning on a Thursday when I'm a little grumpy, I don't give a fuck. She'll be mad through breakfast. I just don't understand why you have to yell that early in the morning. I don't understand. I know you don't understand. I know all day long you don't understand. It's your fucking goddamn M.O. That's the lady's M.O. I don't understand why you don't just do everything that I want at the moment that I want you to do it. I don't understand that I live with somebody else that has a different schedule than I do. I don't understand.